Hello everyone, I hope you're doing okay. Today we're talking about the Plasma Tech Vanguard. Read this disclaimer as usual. I'm not an expert in this spec, I'm just a nerd that plays a lot of sports or and kind of knows what he's doing. So if you have any recommendations, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'm sure your fellow players would appreciate it. For your tertiary stats, you're looking at 110% accuracy in PvE, and then as little accuracy as possible in PvP. We do a lot of yellow damage in this spec, so you don't need a lot of accuracy in PvP. For your alacrity, you want to get to like 7.2% alacrity, that should compensate for most of your lag issues, and then just dump the rest into crit, and you should be ready to rock and roll. For our tactical, we're going to take Super Heated Fuel. Uh, we do all elemental and kinetic attacks in uh, Plasma Tech. So it's just 15 free seconds of 100% crit chance, which is a lot of damage. For our legendaries, we're gonna take Mandalorian Ar Armaments. It's going to give us a bunch of free damage after we use our rockets, which is pretty darn nice. Additionally, we're gonna take Shock Trooper Package, which is going to help with our energy management a little bit. And it's also going to give us a little bit of extra free damage every 15 seconds. So those are just what's the best in slot for right now. Some people take Super Commando in like ranked PVP for their extra shield, uh, but it's just not worth it in my opinion. Coming to the line for combat styles here, we actually have a, a couple of really good options. Um, super, uh, suppressive Heat is kind of the default option. It's going to increase the damage of our cell, um, but you can take a heavy plasma round if you want that massive burst damage, especially in like PvP, or if you're doing a bunch of AoE damage, you can take tactical strike, but default is gonna be suppressive heat. Storm is gonna be the best option in the next tree. We're a melee class, having leap is really nice. The fact that we have to take a leap is kind of sad. Moving the tree here, I like Heated Bolt for the single target damage, but if you want to, you can take Prime Debt Patch for that little extra bit of AOE. Um, moving with the tree here, I like to take Leap Vanguard. It's going to give us that little extra stun immunity and a little extra movement speed. It's also going to give us a couple extra taunts, especially for PvP, but in PvE, you can take Reactive Plating. It's just a little bit more useful than what the other options are for PvE. Moving with the tree here, um, I like taking para paralytic combat stims for PvE for PvP. It helps out with our energy management, which is pretty darn nice. Additionally, it gives us a little extra free damage, which is nice. But in PvP, you can take Electro Shield and just fluff with uh, Shield, which is, you know, we love to see it. Again, in PvP, I like to take Entangling Tools in the next tree here. A little extra slow to keep people slowed up, keep them in melee range. In PvE, you're gonna wanna take Frontline Defense. On the next tree, I like Hold the Line personally more. I think it's the most useful in all forms of content, but if you need the healing, you can take Guard Cannon if you're like leveling. It's really up to you, or you can take the sun, Stun. And then finally, in PvP, I take Efficient Tools. That way you have a little extra range on your shoulder cannon, a little extra range of the grapple. It's pretty darn nice, and you can activate your Adrenaline Rush while you're stunned. Um, but in PvE, if you're not taking Center of Rebounder, you are throwing on your teammates, and they're gonna cry and call you a bad player. So. That's the basics of your utility choices. There's a bunch of good ones here. You know, uh, you're not gonna go wrong with a couple of these, uh, these trees. So, Plasma Tech is a dot spec. And what that means is that we have a bunch of damaging abilities that don't do a lot of initial damage. For example here, if I hit my incendiary round button, it only takes for a 4,000 damage at first. But you're gonna notice over time, it's almost like it's called a damage over time or a dot spec, uh, the damage will slowly take on the target. So you can track these dots by looking at the target you're targeting and seeing your dots slowly tick off. Plasma Tech has a couple of these dots. Uh, the first we just mentioned is Incendiary Round. Incendiary Rounds does like 20K damage over the course of 20 se or 15 seconds. So not a bad little dot. It kind of uh, primes the target. Additionally, it's gonna make your rail shot glow. It's gonna give your rail shot a little extra damage over time. Um, it's one of our primary dots. We like to pay attention to it. The next important dot here we have is Plasmatize. Plasmatize does like 50,000 damage over the course of 30 seconds. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. However, it is over this course of 30 seconds. So just be aware, um, you might not always get the most benefit out of it, but if we're in like an operations fight or a flashpoint boss or just a regular gold mob, Plasmatize is gonna do a whole bunch of damage. You can see here, if we throw it onto the target, it's gonna be there for a hot second. Additionally, if the target dies, Plasmatize will hop to the next target within 10 meters, so it kind of spreads itself, which is pretty darn neat. Those are our two normal dots. So we have our um, incendiary round, we have our Plasmatize. You're gonna notice though that our high impact bolt is now glowing because we took the um, heated bolt Utility. What heat bolt means is that every time you use incendiary round, the next time you use your high impact bolt, it will be it will apply a little dot. So if you see here, we hit the high impact bolt button. It's now doing burning from the prime rail shot, which is pretty darn nice. Those are our three dots that we cast intentionally. The last dot that we have will be pretty much on the target 24/7. It is our oh come on, trigger on the target. Thank you. It is our burning dot. Burning is applied by hammer shot, by stock strike, and by iron pulse. 
Uh, it's also applied by our explosive surge. So a bunch of our filler abilities will be passively applying burning to the target. It does a whole bunch of damage, especially when we are taking the utility down here called suppressive heat. It's going to increase the damage of our burning. So we have a whole bunch of dots that are gonna be burning on the target 24 seven. So if you see here, we'll apply all three of our dots at once. Oh my goodness, look at all these numbers that are exploding off of the dummy. We love to see it. However, there are some other interactions you wanna be paying attention to here. So we've gone over what the basic dots are. We also have three primary damaging abilities here. The first primary damaging ability is our high impact bolt, which we already covered. High impact bolt is only usable on susceptible targets. What that means is that you can't just walk up to any random mob and hit the high impact bolt button. If you're confused about why you can't do that, so you see here if I'm hitting the high impact bolt, it says target not vulnerable, that's because you need to apply a dot and or stun the target. So if you see here, I'm hitting my high impact bolt, it's not working, it's not working. If I apply my dot to the target, it suddenly becomes available. And now, boop, I can hit my high impact bolt button and do a fair bit of damage. We also have an ability here called Ion Wave. Now, Ion Wave on its own doesn't actually do a whole bunch of damage. It will spread around our incendiary round, but if I just hit it off the bat, oh, boop, it does like 10K damage. That's not that impressive if we're being honest. However, if we use our Ion Pulse and or our Explosive Surge, you're gonna see we're slowly building these stacks of Pulse Generator. What Pulse Generator do is essentially double the damage done by our Ion Wave. So now, if we hit our Ion Wave button while it's glowing, you're gonna see, boop, it does like 20K damage. So we just doubled the damage done by our Ion Wave by hitting both our Ion Pulse and our Explosive Surge. We'll talk about those two abilities in a bit. Just know it's one of our primary damaging abilities. Additionally, when we use our Ion Wave, you're gonna notice here, that our Plasma Flare is gonna to start to glow. Plasma Flare is a straight up single target, does a whole bunch of damage ability. Every time we have our Ion Flare, it's gonna give us a little buff. It's gonna increase the damage of our Plasma Flare by 50%, which means if we hit it, boop, it does a whole bunch of damage to the target in one single blow. We love to see it. It also makes your next Ion Pulse and or your next Explosive Surge free to use. So there's a bunch of abilities playing into each other here. Our job now is to build a rotation that effectively manages those buffs going in order. So what I want to happen with this rotation is that you don't have to be thinking, okay, I've buffed my high impact bolt, it's gonna apply the dot now. Okay, I've buffed my ion pulse, it's gonna do more damage now. Okay, I've buffed my plasma, plasma flare, I have to do more damage now. With the rotation that we're gonna follow, we don't really have to be thinking about that. It's just gonna take care of all the buffs on its own. If you're just getting into this spec, just know if it's glowing, you should probably be pushing it, all right? So, the rotation for Plasma Tech is actually pretty straightforward. I've assembled the rotation here in order from Plasma Ties, to Incendiary Round, to High Impact Bolt, to Ion Wave, to Plasma Flare. With the small exception that between each of these abilities, we're going to use a filler ability. For right now, we're just gonna use our standard, our standard hammer shot as our filler ability, so let's walk through what this rotation might look like. So. We're gonna open up with the Plasma Ties, then a Filler, then an Incendiary Round, then a Filler, then a High Impact Bolt, then a Filler, then an Ion Wave, then a Filler, then a Plasma Flare, then a Filler. That is one block of your rotation, very, very straightforward. But you're gonna notice that while Incendiary Round will fall off after this block, our Plasma Ties actually will stay on for two full rotations here. So what we want to do is we want to be alternating rotations between the plasma ties block and then when the plasma ties is still on the target, just use an extra filler ability during that where it's supposed to be plasma ties. So the first block, we're going to have plasma ties. Second block, we're just going to replace it with a filler. So how it's going to look like when we're going through, oh, hey, look, is plasma ties, then filler, then incendiary round, then filler, then high impact bolts, then filler, then ion wave, then filler then Plasma Flare, then Filler. Now again, we have our Plasma Ties on the target, so we're gonna go through this without using Plasma Ties. So Filler, then Filler. Then Incendiary Round, then Filler. Then High Impact Bolt, then Filler. Then Ion Wave, then Filler. Then Plasma Flare, then Filler, repeat. Now we have don't have Plasma Ties on the target, so this time we're gonna go through, use our Plasma Ties, then Filler. Then Incendiary Round, then Filler. Then High Impact Bolt, then Filler. Then Ion Wave, then Filler. Then Plasma Flare, then Filler, etc., etc., etc. 
If you can follow this little basic five button rotation, you should be ready to rock and roll. But let's talk about those filler abilities here because when I say filler, I'm talking about three abilities here. Well, technically four, but we'll talk about the first three. The most important filler ability is gonna be our Stock Strike. Stock Strike does a whole bunch of damage right up to the target. It's a melee ability, boop. It does both uh, regular kinetic and a little bit of elemental damage to the target. It's very, very nice. It also makes your next high impact bolt crit automatically, which we love to see. It is our most important filler ability. Our second most important ability is Ion Pulse. Now, Ion Pulse is, hey bud, Ion Pulse uh, will apply our burning to the target, which is very, very nice. Additionally, when we use two Ion Pulses, it's gonna give us that little bonus damage on Ion Wave, so it is our second most important filler ability. However, despite those little priority trees we just set up of stock tries the most important, and then Ion Pulse is the second most important, there is one rule that overrides them all. I need you to hold up your right hand and swear to me Biggs, I swear on my life, if my cells are below 70%, I will use hammer shot. I will not destroy my energy resources by greeting and using stock strike and ion pulse when I should be using hammer shot to delay the kerfuffle, kerfuffle, hey bud, the kerfuffle that is running out of energy. Because if you spam your abilities here, if you just use Ion Pulse and Stocks, right, it's all your abilities, you're actually gonna start to run out of cells here. And how cell management works in Plasmatize is that the lower your cells get, uh, the slower they regenerate here. So if you see here, if I get down to like no cells, uh, it takes a year and a half to regenerate. So you'll be stuck here spamming Hammer Shot over and over and over again as your energy cells slowly rejuvenate over the course of like 20 seconds. If you get to this point in the rotation where you can only spam your hammer shot, you're gonna be sad and I'm gonna be sad with you, all right? So please, please, if you drop below 70% on your energy resources, just use a hammer shot as your filler. It's technically like 65%, but like be safe when you're just getting into it. If you want to, as you get better at the spec, you can greed a little bit harder. For right now, 70 is about good to go. If you don't know how to see the percentages on your cells, uh, if you go into your interface editor and then click on your player frame, down here there's gonna be a little icon that says show information text. Turn that on and you will then see, oh look, there's 100% of my cells available to me right now. Hey buddy, how you doing? So, what this means is that as we go through this rotation, we'll be using plasmatized filler, incinerator on filler, High impact bolt filler, iron wave filler, plasma wave filler. We're gonna be filling with stock strike as the most important, iron pulse as the second most important, and then whenever we drop below 70% on our cells, we will use our hammer shot. Hey, bud. Hey, he's getting really feisty. All right, so how that's gonna look. We come here, most important is our stock strike. All right, now we go incendiary round, then filler, then high impact bolt, then filler, then wave, then filler, I'm below 70%, so we use a hammer shot, then plasma flare, then filler. Then we see here plasma ties is still in the target. So we're gonna use that as a filler ability, then a filler ability. Then incendiary round, then filler. Then high impact bolt, then filler. Oh, I messed it up, iron wave, then filler. Then plasma flare, then filler. Then plasma ties, then filler. Then incendiary round, then filler. Then high impact bolt. Then fill it. Again, we're just walking down this little tree here that we set up for ourselves, and then you should be rocking and rolling. If you get to this point here where you're like, I'm at 50% cells, how do I regenerate from this? You do have your one get out of jail free card with your recharge cells. So if you hit your recharge cells, the next ability will not consume any cells, and then you will regenerate 50 cells over three seconds. So you get one get out of jail free card where you can be really, really greedy, but after that, you're gonna be in a whole lot of trouble. Let's talk about some of our offensive cooldowns here. Uh, our battle focus will increase our critical chance by 100% uh, because of our tactical. So what that means is that when we have all of our dots running on the target, we want to be popping that battle focus and then doing a whole boatload of damage. Additionally, we have this ability here called Shoulder Cannon. Shoulder Cannon, uh, if you press it, will slowly load four cannon or four rockets to the uh, player. You can see this little buff down here over time. Uh, shoulder Cannon does not respect the global cooldown, so you can be spamming it when you're hitting your other abilities. And then once we've used all four of our rockets, then uh, it will give you your auto cannon for the next 60 seconds, give you a whole bunch of extra free damage. So what that means is that when we're getting into the opener, we can precast 
our explosive surge twice because you don't need to be targeting anything to use explosive surge. And then when we're gonna jump in, we can just apply our dots back to back to back right away. So incendiary round, and then, I'm sorry, plasmatize and incendiary round. And then we're gonna use our stock strike to give us the free auto crit on our high impact bolt. And then we can use our battle focus and then go right back into our rotation here. So, for example, we've precasted everything. We're precasting everything, great. Let's hop right in. Use your plasmatize, then your incendiary round, filler, high impact bolt, filler of using our battle focus for all the crits in the world. Look at all the crits that are exploding on the target. Oh my good gravy. Oh my good gravy, that's a whole bunch of damage. That's a whole bunch of damage. Go back to the rotation. Filler. High impact bolt. Filler. Iron wave. Filler. Plasma. Filler. Regen charge. And now, plasma ties. Filler. Incendiary round. Filler. High impact bolt. Filler. Iron wave. Filler. Plasma fire. Etc. 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 There is a really nerdy 20 global cooldown rotation that you can memorize if you want to really min max it. Uh, you don't have to know it. If you really want to, you can. Uh, but I'd rather you understand this little five button rotation and then slowly figure out the optimal uh, rotation from there rather than you trying to memorize 20 abilities in a row. It's much easier just to remember five in a row. And that way, if you mess up and you lose your spot, you just look at what's not on cooldown, hit that, and then begin again from the front of the rotation. So hopefully this is very helpful to you guys. Talking about our defensive cooldowns real quick, hi Duke. We have our reactive shield, which will increase our damage reduction by 25%, which is very, very nice. We have our Durasteel armor, which will at first give you 40% extra armor and 20% extra damage, but as you take more damage, it stacks up to five times. So you get like 200% extra armor and then 10% extra damage, which is very, very nice. It lasts up to 30 seconds. Finally, we have our Adrenaline Rush here. Adrenaline Rush will heal you up to 35% of your health very, very quickly. It'll also give you a little bit of damage reduction, which is pretty nice. Additionally, every time you're attacked in plasma tech you will lower the cooldown of adrenaline rush by six seconds so you can have adrenaline rush running pretty much 24 7. the last notable ability here is going to be our neural surge neural surge is hey bud is our uh, aoe uh, crowd control so it's going to stun all enemies within a couple meters of us uh, it's a very very powerful ability feel free to be smashing that as often as possible we also have taunts. Uh, Sonic Round is an AOE taunt. It is also replace a reflective barrier on your allies if you are taking your Sonic Rebounder, which is very, very nice. Uh, right, or, and then Neuro Jolt is a single target taunt. If you are in PVE, never hit these abilities or never hit your Neuro Jolt unless you are told to by your tank. Uh, Sonic Round will also um, lower your threat. So that's your threat drop in PVE. And then in PVP, just be smashing those buttons as often as possible to help out your team. Uh, it's very, very nice of you to do so. I think that's all we have to talk about today when it comes to Plasma Tech. I hope this guide is useful to you. Again, just build this little tree here and then just follow it down. Ability filler, ability filler, ability filler. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Practice on a chummy. That way you know what you are doing. But other than that, uh, that's all I got to say about that. Duke, you've been a very good boy today. All right? If you like this content, feel free to subscribe. We're going to go through every single spec in the game, even if it takes a year. Uh, but other than that, uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Say goodbye, Duke. No? Snoop? Snoop. All right, goodbye.